Hi, I'm uh, Mike Henderson. I have optimized overlanding campers. So basically, it's all about the form factor. This is a gold wing flatbed pop-up. And so what you want is the most capacity for the size, the most function, and the speed of use. And that way you can cover more ground. If you want access to your kitchen, you just pop those two locks like that, which are lockable with a key. Hit your buttons here for your, all your power. You drop your kitchen down. You have your sink here. You know, I get my kettle. I get my stove. You got this kettle, nice stove, and then you have a uh, oven as well. You can do this while you're driving. If you're driving, you know you're going to stop at about a half hour. You can put some food in there, some leftovers, uh, and then just drive with that on there. It's got a timer. It's got heat settings. Uh, you can get boxes, metal boxes made to put in there. So you got all kinds of storage, cooking pans right here, refrigerator, freezer. If you adjust it down low enough, it will freeze, and it's pretty efficient. But you now you just pop that. It's a 50 liter, uh, and you adjust the temperature settings right up in here. And you got your power there and eco mode if you want it. Uh, but you can also take it down and put it down if you want more horizontal space. Again, this is where you got your main on-off uh, to the electrical system. And then you have your refrigerator, water pump, and LED. And then that's the solar charger. And then you have uh, 110 outlet if you're plugged into shore power. And the shore power is right here. Coming around over the other side, we do have a shower. I can put a uh, shower drain inside and a mat and seal it. And I'll be able to take a shower inside. I won't have to set anything up on the outside. Coming over here, same thing with your tools and storage. Just hit those like that. I should point out it does have rubber seal to keep the dust out. Uh, you can put a big uh, propane tank in here. Here's all my extra storage boxes. Uh, and then you have these storage compartments go in and out and then they lock. And then I even put stuff underneath that, underneath the drawers there. And then you got your water here. It's an 18 and a half gallon tank and it has a pump. And that's what you saw, the sink. And then we come over here. And this is the battery electrical system. Uh, right now I have a um, Battleborn 100 amp hour, 2000 watt inverter, 200 watt uh, solar on the roof. And also has a solar charger and you have another 110 outlet inside as well. Yeah, so right now uh, I'm getting a truck built. I have a Jeep uh, Gladiator original 1979. And so basically you have to have a flatbed truck uh, to put this on. That way, a flatbed has the most space inside uh, for the size of the vehicle and the weight to the vehicle. And that's what one of my goals was to keep everything on the inside that I could possibly need. I don't want anything strapped on the outside any more than I have to anyway. So that's it, it's a going flatbed pop top. It's real quick to set up. So after dropping the ladder down, opening the back door, you know, I just use my back and it has springs and struts to open it up and that's it and the bed's already made and then if you want to get light uh, you can open these up and if you want air and then what you do is just roll these up real tight and then you got these little tabs you can latch it with and that just keeps it up there like that you got some drawers here Got very large drawers. You know, I keep bedding, uh, an extra bag in here, and these just lock like that. Close this down. The bed comes with a mattress. A mattress comes with the uh, camper. You can fit a queen size in here, but I put a full size just so I can have room on the sides, and it's a little easier to make. You leave the bed made. You don't have to unmake it or break anything down, and then put it back up. Uh, the top will shut down just fine uh, with it. And then I have all kinds of storage space on up top here. I got more storage space back here. These are the LED floodlights. So you turn that on and off there. This is where you can put anything you want. Uh, extra storage boxes. Uh, you can put a, a portable toilet if you want. Uh, I've got a tool bag that's using these suction cups uh, to attach right here. So I have immediate access to tools that I might need.
All right, I hope that answers all your questions. Uh, I'm Mike Henderson with Optimized Overlanding. If you want to check it out, uh, go to OptimizedOverlanding.com. I'll be at the next Adventure Van Expo in Lake Tahoe, so if you want to check it out in person, come on by.